Hi, today we're going to talk about the Spider bait boats. Now there's plenty of boats out there on the, on the UK market or even worldwide. Um, it's a bit of a minefield really. Um, so what makes this boat better than others? Well, probably the first thing is the size. Some boats are just big, chunky, very slow in the water. Um, other boats are a bit too small, blow around the place. Uh, and this one is just what we think is a perfect size. You've got two independent hoppers. They're about 12 inches long each, uh, about three by three inches in depth and, and width. And uh, you've also got this great tri hull design, which means uh, you see you've got one, two, three hulls, which sits a good four to, four to five inches in the water, which gives the boat good stability. It doesn't rock around too much. And we have tested this, uh, this excellent uh, spider boat out in some really choppy waters, and it does grip the lake very well. Now there's a, a market out there for really high quality uh, British built product and uh, trust me everything here has been sourced from the UK and most things are actually made in house from the straps, uh, the weed guards, the, the hopper drop mechanism. Uh, it takes only two days to just produce one boat uh, which is, is pretty good really. And uh, now the, the boats are available in two colours, it's piano gloss black. Uh, and a gloss black is, looks great. Struggle to keep them quite clean and shiny though. Um, but as you see, you know most people do like the black on the, as, as most boats are in a black colour. And um, we've designed this one in a metallic -y, uh, silvery uh, colour, um, like a grey silvery colour. It does look very nice. It does reflect the heat, which is good for for those sunny days. So it stops the boat getting really hot inside and doesn't show up the dirt and scratches as much. Uh, right now we're talking about the radio gear. We've tested for for months and months. Well, actually over a year loads of different handsets and you can get digital handsets now for as little as 12 15 pounds from China uh, which is great and if they work it's good but to be honest you won't get many months if, if not more than a year out of them and now we've finally come up with uh, what we believe is the ideal handset uh, and radio gear for the spider bait boats which is a spectrum dx 5 e handset uh, we've hired these boats out for quite a few months now in a very busy fishery and sometimes they're permanently out they get abused and on a few occasions people have left these handsets in the rain um, and the boats has malfunctioned. We've taken the handset and uh, the back off of it, dried it out for a day, put it back together, and it's, then it's worked fine. Um, obviously, recommend don't leaving it in the rain. Uh, if it did break uh, via water damage, uh, that wouldn't be covered under warranty. Uh, but we come to the conclusion that's pretty hardy and reliable as well. Now, that's a tank design. If you look on one of our other videos, you'll see that us using the boat on the water and, and how it's operated with the motors forward and back. Um, these two switches here you don't actually use for anything. Um, this switch is your right hopper as you're looking from the back of the boat and that's your left hopper. Just flick it, hopper drop, hopper drop, simple. Now we'll put a battery in it, sometimes it's very uh, fiddly putting batteries in boats. This takes probably less than 10 seconds. Literally remove the battery lid like I've just done, plug in cable, tuck the wire down, battery lid goes on top. There we have it, it's, it's fitted. I mean, it's, it's very easy, even if you've got the biggest of hands, it just it takes no, no time at all to do. Now we'll show you also inside with the uh, cabling here, there's a, an inline fuse, which is basically a simple 7.5 amp car fuse. Now this is great because even though you've got a very good weed guard over the propellers, and this has been tested in pretty good thick weed as well, but if you do get clogged up with weed around the propellers or line, uh, or even a wood chip or something stuck in there, rather than it blowing the parts on the inside of the boat, which would be very expensive to replace, uh, basically it should pop this fuse, so what would happen, you would retrieve your boat, take out, to open up the cap, replace the fuse, uh, and there you have it, uh, it's, just, it's just fixed on the bank side, and you do get spare fuses uh, with the boat. And what we'll do is turn the boat upside down, and we'll show you uh, some of the mechanisms from, from underneath. Now the weed guards are custom made, aluminium weed guards, laser cut down from a factory in East Sussex. You've got quality brass shafts, brass cut links, some fairly decent expensive motors, which are just the ideal motors we found to use on the boats. The weed, the hopper door is laser cut from stainless steel. It actually has a proper carbon fibre rod siliconed to that to act as like the hinge uh, opening. And even the brass rods here, these are hand carved in-house and they take about 15 minutes to, um, to carve out. Now as you see with this one, it's got the Hummingbird RF15E uh, fish finder sensor fitted to it and that's where the sensor would go for the Hummingbird. If it was the detailed colour low rance fish finder, you'd have the sensor uh, coming off the back here, the transducer. Now we've got uh, various lights around, uh, around on the boat. Um, we've got a bright white light, which is a 10mm bulb on the front. 
out. charge up your charge up your battery. Some panels we do are just a slow trickle charge. Other panels are actually put out more power than some mains chargers even on a cloudy day. The great accessory to go with these boats around about the 20 pound mark is an LED battery tester. As you see plugged out on the back there um, the battery is really charged up and topping the 13 volts all four lights will be lit up. Uh, the fourth light there is very dim at the moment so it shows the battery about 95 percent charge be fine for a session to be honest but as a green light would go out that means the battery's half charged as the orange goes down it's just a red light lit uh, that means it's time to change the battery uh, it's a good little good little device it does work with most boats with a charging socket on the back it's around about the 20 pound mark now with the latest uh, digital gear with the spectrum there's a very small aerial built inside of the boat and the actual handset itself just has a very small um, angled aerial on here uh, believe it or not you can get up to a 500 meter range out of that so um, you think you know where is the, the boat aerial and you can get a really good range out of this, this latest digital uh, equipment. Now this aerial is because of the hummingbird fish finders fitted uh, on, on this particular boat. Um, if, you, if you don't have the hummingbird fish finder or any fish finder on the boat at all there'd just be no socket there uh, which make, gives the boat quite a low profile. Uh, not too low, it's good in choppy conditions, you can still see the boat pretty well at a distance but it goes, it's, it only sits probably about 4-5 or five inches out of the water which is great for going under low lying trees especially as there's no, no aerial. Now we've also um, had designed custom padded bags uh, from Phenom Tackle and uh, these are made specifically for the Spider bait boats. They're a genuine inch thick padded all the way round sides, bottom, top, uh, genuine inch thick padded and you've got a removable mat here as well so that that's sitting sit here when you're out fishing take that out and you can put your boat down onto the mat which is great for protecting the bottom of your boat. You've also got two side pockets so you can put a battery in each side, your handset as well so these, these are custom made and these will be launched very very shortly. So if you want to keep an eye out for the other videos we're doing on the Spider bait boat, the Black Widow from Spider and uh, we've got some videos of the fish finders in use, um, how the controls work and even putting the boat out on a very choppy lake, possibly even the sea. Um, that's it for now, thanks for watching.